All right, tomorrow in class, we're going to work on solving and checking one-step inequalities. So you're going to solve these the same way we solved equations. The difference is the inequality symbol, which is going to be less than, greater than, equal to, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So since this problem says x add 3, we're going to do the inverse operation of that. We're still going to draw our line through the inequality sign. We're going to do the inverse operation of add, which is subtract. The positive 3 and the negative 3 eliminate. So that gives me x and 7 subtract 3 is 4. I'm going to keep my inequality sign, which is greater than. So if I graph that, my number I got was 4. I can put 5, 6, 7, 3, 2, 1 on my number line. And since it's greater than at 4, I'm going to put a circle at 4, and I'm going to shade everything to the right. So that means that any answer greater than 4 would work. 5 would work, 6 would work, 7 would work, and so on. All right, here's another equation that we want to solve, inequality. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to draw my line through my inequality sign. I notice this says x subtract 4, so the inverse operation of subtract 4 would be add 4. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides of my equation. The negative 4 and positive 4 eliminate. So that gives me x and 5 plus 4 is 9. And I keep my inequality sign, which is less than or equal to. So I've got 9 in the center. If I go this way, 7, 6, 5. I can go on the other side of 9. So if I graph less than or equal to 9, I've got to put a closed circle on 9. And I'm going to shade everything to the left. So that means any number to the left of 9 on the number line will satisfy this inequality. Um, my third example is going to be 3x is less than negative 12. So again, I'm going to solve that by putting my bar through my inequality sign. 3x means 3 multiply or times x. So the inverse operation is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. The threes eliminate, so that gives me x. Bring down my inequality sign less than, and negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So if I graph that, I'm going to put negative 4 in the center of my number line. I can go to the left, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, so forth. And to the right, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0. So if I want to graph x is less than negative 4, it's not equal to, so I have to have a circle. And less than is to the left, so I shade to the left. So that tells me any number to the left of negative 4 would satisfy this equation. So negative 5 would, negative 6, negative 7, and so forth. Last example, if I have x over 4 is greater than or equal to 4. If I want to solve that equation, I'm going to draw my bar. This fraction bar means divide. So the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. My 4s eliminate on the left. That leaves me x. My inequality sign is greater than or equal to. And 4 times 4 is 16. So if I want to graph that, I'm going to put 16 in the middle of my number 9. The number's to the left, 17, 18, 19, 20. The number's less than 15, 14, 13, and so forth. So if I want to graph f is greater than or equal to 16, I'm going to put a dot because it can be equal to and greater than shades to the right. So any number to the right of the number line of 16 would satisfy this equation, x is greater than or equal to 16. So we'll work on the, more of this in class today.